into captured Inchon, ships pour supplies to feed the drive on Seoul. All the vast requisites of modern war assembled and delivered to schedule. And at nearby Kimpo Airfield, huge troop carriers and 66 flying boxcars land with reinforcements within 24 hours of its capture. Within a few days, 9,000 men completely equipped join the big offensive. General Shepard, commander of the Marines and first to land at Kimpo, inspects a burnt out yak fighter. Giant rubber pontoons will carry a 900-foot Bailey Bridge being flown in to cross the Han River. On the south front, the Argyle and Sutherland switch to the offensive as the pincers start to close. And tough South Koreans, tired after months of hard fighting, grin as the tide turns. Nearby, on Taegu Airfield, Australian Mustangs bomb up to spearhead the breakout. From some deep-hidden source, exhausted men find the little extra that makes a man. And they turn to rend the aggressor. When the enemy proves stubborn, they call up the Air Force. And from Tegu Airfield, the Australians roar into the air. There's a camera on one of them. And from air and ground, we bring you the most romantic air attack pictures of the war. Tracks move towards the Han River. Before the pincers can work, these men, veterans and unbloodied youngsters, must capture Seoul. Barrage has prepared the way, but as they cross the wide river, they'll be a sitting target. And so will our cameraman, who goes with them. Before supplies can follow them, they've got to make a beachhead and hold it. Deploying with anti-tank bazookas, the Marines seize commanding points, whilst others clear the surrounding country. When life can be a matter of minutes, the little things assume importance. Living the fleeting moments seems more important than life itself. Back to base, the prisoners begin to stream. Sometimes they carry hidden grenades. It's safer to bring them in like this. dressed like the civilians in this strange country. And the man who shot at you next moment becomes a peaceful citizen, merged in the background and ready to hit again when you're off guard. But now loyal South Koreans come forward to point the finger and the Yanks go in. One fanatic with a machine gun can do a lot of damage, perhaps even hold up a timetable and endanger the lives of hundreds. The tape that binds him is just strong enough to delay a sudden break for liberty. Field dressing stations keep close up with the advance. Victory has not been cheap. Flight, which brought man terror, also gives him life, hastening the wounded back to base. Among the wounded moves a priest, a little man comforting the stricken and bringing peace to those whose hour has run. wounded, blood from their homeland brings life, replacing the blood they so freely gave that freedom might live. But for others, the little priest can only make smooth the way. When time was being bought with lives, a young American said in death, there must be better ways to settle a dispute. Korea has given his answer. When all the people of the world will it, man will live in peace and die honored in his own bed.